right now, it is my pleasure to announce we are joined by an esteemed partner of ours at FanTool. Um, hell of a gambler. Follow all of her stuff on all of her socials, at Aaron K. Dolan. Welcome to Hammer Down. How are you today? Great. How are you? Thank you so much for having me on. Hey, it is our pleasure. Um, and I don't want to start this off on a bad note. And I know it's not your fault, but... Will you talk to somebody over there at our partner, FanDuel um, Sportsbook, that we, none of us, got invited to Denver for the FanDuel Fan Fest? <laughs> yeah, that was um, a little bit too much fun. I know. But hopefully we'll be having, we're having more in the future, so we'll have to get you guys on the invitee list. It looked incredible, and I know it's not your fault, yeah. um, <laughs> but I was severely I'll disappointed. I'll put in a good word, though. Thank you. I appreciate it. Some of us were severely disappointed. Uh, how's your time at FanDuel been? It's been so much fun. I started in January, so unfortunately I didn't get to do all of last football season with them. But this season we're gearing up, so everything's been a lot of fun. You guys have a much cooler studio, I'll say, though. As you can see, I saw my IKEA stuff working from home. So everything's been good, though. I absolutely love working at No, Daniel. no, your studio looks great. Uh, our studio is pretty cool, though. I, I appreciate the so compliment. Cool. I'm jealous. Um, so are you – you just talked about football season. Are you – like, is NFL what you're focusing on most right now? Yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously, we have college football going on. But I've come to the realization that you just can't be a good better in everything. So you got to hone in. So I feel like NFL and NBA are my two things that I love to bet on. Hey, that's very, very good advice. We normally ask people when they come on here what their advice is. And what we always say is bet on what you know is most likely the best idea. Yeah. So, no, uh, for sure. So for this upcoming NFL season, NFL Week 1, a whole are you have you done a bunch of, of futures bets so i have like futures bets in mind that i would be placing okay but in general i stay away from futures bets just because i don't want to tie up my money because i'd rather just bet so, every single game if i can on sunday same um but i guess you could do both but if i was going to bet on anybody it'd definitely be the packers 12 to 1. okay i think they're going to be able to get it done this season, finally, I feel bad for Aaron Rodgers. He's got all these issues going on, of course, in this offseason with all the drama. But I'll have Vontae Adams back, and I feel like they still have all the pieces. He obviously played unbelievable last year. As long as they just don't opt to kick a field goal, we'll be all good. Exactly. I agree. Aaron's <laughs> a big a big friend of this office, and I think most of the people in this office agree with that. Maybe if not Tom, then Aaron for sure, definitely. Um, does that mean you're going with Aaron then for MVP back to back or no? No, 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 no. I actually have a dark horse. And I I said this out loud to people at FanDuel. And they were like, Aaron, I, I don't know about this. I feel like we shouldn't broadcast this. And I was like, no, we are. I want to go with Baker Mayfield. It's a dark horse, 26-1. Oh, to one. I know it's, it's a long shot there. But I think considering how well he played last season, I know he's had ups and downs in his career. But... I like the value there, and I think if he has a great regular season, he could absolutely win it. Aaron, I don't know if when we call people, you could see me or you see yourself. Uh, I can see you. I'm... Oh, <laughs> so Steelers are your team? Yeah. So. Oh, that's not a, not a great no, no, no. Way to I start I, off this conversation. No, no, no. I'm kidding. I actually took the Browns. I like to separate my fandom from my betting. I don't. Because, well, <laughs> Neither, hey, our producer, Mitt, he doesn't either. And I respect him. No, I, I don't respect him at all. But I respect <laughs> you doing it. Are you, are you from Philly then? Do you take the Eagles all the time or no? Yeah, well, I'm from Philly, but I'm smart enough to not bet on Philly teams. Like, okay. I just stay away from them. But, like, I'm going to be that type of fan. Like, I would never bet on the Cowboys. I like that. You know? I, I like that a lot, even though, like I just said, Mitt is a huge Cowboys fan. But he's also a Yankees fan. <laughs> And I'm a, just striking out left and right. No, no, no. He's not a real fan. He's also a Yankees fan and a Lakers fan. So he's the worst human on the earth, actually. I never understand how people can go and like like different teams from different areas. I feel like where you're from, it's just like you're born into it, and that's just the cards you drew. I agree. But his dad's a coach, and he's moved around a bunch of areas. So we give him uh, a break. Okay, okay. Um, but what I was talking about, I did take the Browns to win the AFC North. Um, okay. I put my agreement. I put my fandom aside. I don't like the Ravens this year. Um, and I'm not going to jinx the Steelers. I refuse to do that. Uh, do you have, do you, did you also take them? If you like Baker to win the MVP, do you yeah. like them to win the North? 
Yeah, for sure. Plus 155, I would definitely take them. I'm on the same bandwagon with you. I think the Ravens are finally going to see regression. And I feel like Lamar Jackson has not proven to us that he can do anything in the postseason. I but agree. despite all that, I do think the Browns, just given, I mean, you have Kareem Hunt, Nick Chubb, Odell Beckham Jr. is coming back. Their coach has been great, obviously, with Baker Mayfield. So I feel like you can definitely bet into that market still compared to some of the other divisions. And at plus 155, I feel like you should take that now. Also, given the Browns have one of the easiest schedules based on win totals, so that helps them. They do. I may even, now that I'm thinking about it, since they have the Chiefs week one and potentially lose to the Chiefs week one, those odds may even get better after, after week one. So I'm just, I'm just sorry. I'm just thinking out loud. I may potentially wait until after week one and do that. Thanks for- Well, that's the thing with futures. I feel like you, you do have to wait some of this out. Yeah, absolutely. Like, and I thank you for putting that in my head. I appreciate that. Uh, speaking right. of your Eagles and the NFC East, did you take uh, a division pick on that one since you're familiar with it? So I almost feel that since it's so unpredictable and I can't, I can't come on here and say take the Eagles. I don't have a specific pick. I'm appreciate more interested that. to see what you would take. Just because the odds are so long right now, I would never bet on the Cowboys. I don't think the Washington football team will get it done again. No team has won back-to-back divisional titles since 2004. I don't see the Washington football team being able to do that. But then again, granted, you only needed seven wins to win last season. And then I'm out on the Giants. So I honestly feel like given the Eagles have the longest odds as a better and also as a fan in a way, I feel like I would take them just for fun. But I I was interested to see what you would do in this market. So... I know the stat. I know that no team has won back-to-back years in, in all of those years. I don't trust the Cowboys at all. Um, I don't. <laughs> part of me doesn't trust Dak. To, not only – I like Dak. I don't, I don't know if I trust him to stay healthy. And, and their defense was the worst last year. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not going to take the Eagles yet. I don't trust Daniel Dimes and the New York football giants. They've looked no. like shit so far. Um, so I, I did lay a little bit on the Washington football team to potentially okay. do that. You think Ryan Fitzpatrick's going to be able to get it done? Listen, uh, it's not so much Ryan Fitzpatrick because everybody loves Fitz magic. We, I do too, as someone in the, in the bearded community. Um, uh, but I think it's more of the defense. I think that, I think I love their defense. So in that mm. division, a lot of tight games, I think Fitzmagic will do enough. So I was thinking about the Washington football team there. Um, were you doing? Did you do any other division winners or anything like that? The only other one I feel like you can bet in is the AFC South, which to me I would definitely go with the Titans minus one ten right now. I just think that I can't bet, ever bet on the Colts because I'm such a Carson Wentz hater, and I know that <laughs> other people on the show are very excited about the Colts always. Um, but yeah, I just I cannot get behind the Colts. Listen, I also, I I didn't take the Colts either. I also took the Titans just because we know who the Titans are and we have no idea if Carson Wentz, we have no idea if he can be good again. I have an idea. Well, no, I know you have an idea. I have quite an idea. But I'm saying there's a chance that he's still that guy. There's a a chance that he never goes back to 2017. And if the Titans start winning, it's going to be like minus 150 after week one. So you might as well take him at minus 110 right now. Very, very true. Colts have Seattle, I believe, week one at home, and they've had a bunch of issues and stuff like that. Have you started looking at week one at all? Yeah, so obviously the first game we have to bet on. So I'm going to take Bucks True. minus seven and a half. And that line keeps moving out. So I don't even care if I lose this bet. I just will never bet on the Cowboys, especially in the season opener. Like, like why that. would you do that? Other like than that, that, one of my favorites um, that I like is the San Francisco 49ers minus seven and a half against Detroit. That line also moving out. But I absolutely think they blow this team out. And I hate taking favorites. So the other underdogs that I have, which are a little controversial, uh, the Dolphins money line oh. to beat them in Fox Barrow, beat the Patriots. Okay. And then the Bengals to beat the Vikings at home. Okay. And I love that your Philly accent came out a little bit there. Did Very it? Cool. I try to hide it. <laughs> Fo- Foxborough got you. Fox Barrow, yeah, sorry. No, no, that's fine. Anything with A's. So you could, you think you could trust Joey Burrow week one? Yes, I do. The Vikings play so well at home, um, and considering they're going on the road, and I just feel like – the first two weeks betting NFL is so difficult, so you might as well just take some of the underdogs when you can, especially e- when it's a short line anyways. EKD. Can I call you EKD? Yeah, a lot of people call me that. Okay, cool. It's just easier. Um, I think we could be friends because I'm also – I also love taking the puppies, and I like taking unders. A lot of people have problems with the unders. Do you have a problem with the under? 
I don't have a problem with the under, but just in general, I stay away from totals when I, I mean, it's just like not fun. Like you want to bet the over, but then if you go to the under, you're just, you don't seem fun. And then if it doesn't hit, it's just, I feel like it's so 50, 50 on those that it's not fun for me. No, no, I won't take that as a shot at me. That's fine. Um, (laughs) Hey, can't thank you enough for coming on. Please make sure you tell those people over there to invite us to the next fan fest. Good luck this weekend. You doing any college at all? You taking any college at all? Any co- I'm going with uh, – oh, this is so bad. I should not broadcast this because I graduated from Penn State, but OSU tonight minus 13 and a half. Oh, wow. No, you're okay. It's tough. You're loud. <laughs> um, Happy Valley's a good time. Happy Valley's a good time. It, it is a good time. Uh, can't thank you enough for coming on. Good luck this weekend. Good luck next weekend. Uh, come back on anytime, and thank you for coming on. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Aaron. Aaron Dolan here. Thanks for watching and make sure you click below on that subscribe button for more great FanDuel content and check out some of our latest uploads and playlists right over here.